I didn't drink today, I'm a miracle. You know, I started doing heroin when I was 17, you know? And I just read off 51 names that died from alcohol and drug addiction. The criminal aspect of my life got a little bigger. I stabbed the guy nine times. High speed chase. And when he grabbed me, I stabbed this man in his head. I got in a fight and I killed the guy. I lost my brother to overdose. My father died of this disease, man. How does a mother sit here and eulogize her son? I had two of my children born addicted to methadone. I'm a miracle. I'm a dead man walking. I remember waking up without a leg, without an arm. My situation had just gotten, you know, had gone downhill faster than I could lower my standards. When I came in this, in this process of recovery in 1995, my goal was to see, if I stay with these positive people, what can I learn? First and foremost, my self-respect. My word means something today. I haven't been in nobody's jail. I got an education, you know, I went to college. I have custody of my two kids. Who would've, who would've gave custody for a dead down junkie, man? If anybody's out there and you think you have a problem, you probably do. So the best thing I can tell you is, there's hope and there's always hope for you. There's a lot of avenues for anybody that, that, that's struggling with, with, with any kind of addiction. I have a lot of people who support me and that's there for me and, and actually look up to me. I met some people that wanted for me what I wanted for myself. That, that's a gift. That's a gift from God. That's what I'm about. That's, you know, what I can do for the next person that can't do for themselves.